Good morning, everyone. Rooman72 back with another informative video. And you know the routine. If you like my content, please hit the subscribe button. It would help me out a great deal. So I'm going to make a very serious video, very quick video, but serious nonetheless. So once again, we have another black man gunned down by a no good white cop. Um, and this situation is very troubling. So we had a young man, 23 year old black man by the name of Rob. Robert Fortsman, I think I'm saying his name right. Um, he was an airman or a serviceman in the United States Air Force. He was uh, from DeKalb County, Georgia, not too far from where I live right now. But he was stationed um, at an Air Force base in Okaloosa County, Florida, which is Fort Walton Beach for those of you who are familiar with that area. And about a week ago, um, he was FaceTiming his girlfriend, unbeknownst to him, some white woman, it's always a white woman, called 911 and said that she heard what she thought was yelling and screaming coming from an apartment. Um, white sheriff's deputy shows up asking her what's going on. She says she thinks the, apart the, the, the screaming is coming from a certain apartment and she points him in the direction of this apartment where the, where, where the young man lived. White sheriff's deputy shows up to the door, starts banging like a damn madman. The brother, who is in the apartment, hears the banging um, and goes to the door to figure out what's going on. He looks through the peephole. He can't see anybody because the white sheriff's deputy wasn't standing in front of the peephole. Let that sink in. So he's trying to figure out what's going on. The Whether or not he heard the white sheriff's deputy announced himself as a sheriff's deputy uh, is still up for debate. This, this is the, what the, the sheriff's department claims, but, you know, all they do is lie. Um, he hears banging. He's not really sure what's going on. Remember, he's in the military. He has a clean record. He has a legal right to own a firearm. He goes to get his gun out of his bedroom. Remember, he doesn't know what's going on. He knows that he didn't call 911. Right? So why is somebody at his front door? So he, he's, he's letting his girlfriend know what's going on. He comes walking to the door. Remember, he's in the military, he, so, so he's trained in military warfare. He has his gun pointed toward the ground to show he's not a threat. He opens the door. The white sheriff's deputy shoots him six times. After he shoots him six, time, six times, he tells him to drop the gun. Why the fuck? Are you telling him to drop the gun after you've shot him six times? If you really felt he was a threat, why didn't you tell him to drop the gun prior to shooting him? Because you had death in, death in your heart and destruction on your mind. So at the time that he shot him, believe it or not, he, the, the brother was still alive. And he tells him, I don't have the gun. The gun is, you know, over there. He ends up dying at the hospital. Now, of course, the sheriff's department couldn't play the card that he was a violent criminal. Remember, he was in the military. He didn't have a criminal record. So since that card doesn't work, what do they do? Blame the black victim. Well, he shouldn't have come to the door with a gun. Why not? He had a legal right to own a firearm. He wasn't a threat. It's this damn white sheriff's deputy that was the threat, as usual. It's the white sheriff's deputy banging on the damn door. It's the white sheriff's deputy who wasn't standing in front of the peephole well, the brother could have seen him. See, and you'd expect white people to come out and defend this kind of behavior. But unfortunately, as usual, you get these old fucking coons, these damn Uncle Tom Negroes. He, he should have just waited and called 911. To call 911 call for what? He wanted to figure out what was going on at his front door. He had a gun. So he was acting out of caution. Notice that when it comes to white people observing the First Amendment, I'm sure, I'm sorry, the Second Amendment, this is never an issue. But when law-abiding black citizens have firearms illegally to defend themselves and they get killed by white policemen, the same racist narrative comes up. It's always the black victim's fault. The black victim becomes the aggressor. The white victimizer is always the hero. 
And then you had this old redneck ass sheriff trying to defend the actions of the white sheriff's deputy. You can't defend the actions of your of your deputy. Your deputy was purely in the wrong. And I want to focus on this white woman who called 911 to begin with. What was her motivations? Because it sounds to me like she sent them to the wrong apartment. Blamed on a white woman. Now, what did I tell you? And I've told you this in previous videos. White policemen in this country, for those of you who don't watch my channel, I'm going to repeat this again. White policemen in this country are nothing more than a reflection of the community that they protect and serve. They are, they are a reflection of white America as a collective whole. White America as a collective whole have always viewed black people as violent, lazy, and immoral. And they've held the view that we need to be exterminated. So white policemen, who are nothing more than byproducts of the community, community that they come from, are going to feel that way and act on it. We're dealing with a group of people that view black people and blackness as being a criminal threat. Just the fact that we exist on this planet bothers them. And being black in their warped, fucked up minds is punishable by death. It's a death sentence. That's what happened to this black man. He was minding his damn business. And you can miss me with this shit about, well, he had been, he had probably been in fights with his girlfriend before. We don't know that. He damn sure wasn't fighting with his girlfriend at the time that the white cop shot him. One of the most heartbreaking things from all of this is that this young man had a little sister that idolized him. And I saw a, a picture of him wearing his military uniform with his little sister. Very heartbreaking. But you know, I always say, and I keep going back to this, anytime you, dep you deprive a group of people of justice, they'll do whatever they have to do to even the score. And we're the only people who are told to sit back and die and suffer peacefully. White people are never told that. And you better never tell white people that because they don't believe in suffering peacefully. No group of people do, do except for us. Now, you know as well as I do, nothing is going to happen to this no good white sheriff's deputy. He's white. White skin privilege is still affecting this country. He'll make the argument, and the, and, the, and the sheriff's department has already made the argument, that he shot in self-defense. So how could you shoot in self-defense when the young man had his gun pointed to the ground? In military warfare, you point a gun to the ground to show you're not a threat. He showed in good faith that he was not a threat. But it's the white man who's always a threat. It is the white man who's always been a threat to the survival of black people and always will be. And this is another example of that. Stop looking at them as your friends. They're not your friends. The police don't protect and serve, not black people. When the police go into white neighborhoods to protect them, when they come to black neighborhoods, they watch us. That white police officer had death in his heart and destruction on his mind. And by the way, this is the same, this Okaloosa County uh, uh, sheriff's department. This is the same department where a damn sheriff's deputy had arrested a black man, put him in the back of his car. Then the dumbass deputy hears an, ac an, an acorn that had dropped from a tree and fell on his uh, uh, car. He mistaked that for being a gunshot and shot at the back of his own police car trying to kill the black man. Thankfully, the black man survived. But this dumbass doesn't know the difference between a falling acorn hitting the top of his police car in a fucking gunshot? This is the same sheriff's department. Y'all let that shit sink in. But these police departments purposely hire these fucking psychopathic uh, 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 cops, these murderers, these anti-black murderers. But black people shouldn't be angry. Black people shouldn't put two, to two, two and two together. And black people shouldn't start observing the Second Amendment. And then when you have situations where white policemen come into black neighborhoods and get dealt with by black people, all of a sudden, oh, it's so wrong. Says who? Military warfare, you retaliate when you're attacked. 
You see how that works? You see how that works, right? You making black mothers and black fathers and black people in general cry over the coffin of their loved ones. But black people shouldn't feel some type of way, right? Yeah, you got me fucked up. I feel some type of way. And a whole lot of black people feel some type of way. And you goddamn coons and you bed winches who try to uh, uh, justify why don't black terrorism? You can be a victim just like any of us. The white man doesn't see you any differently than he sees the rest of us. He, view, he, views, you as, he views you as being a threat too. You ain't special, goddammit. So, you know, my condolences go out to the young man's family. Um, unfortunately, nothing is going to happen to the white sheriff's deputy. The fix is already in. Um, I think that black people are going to have to, we, 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 need to we, need, we need to stop being reactive and start being proactive. Stop being reactive and be proactive and start thinking in a military state of mind. Think in terms of military warfare. And, and, and know what the, that when these white cops walk up on you, their intention is to kill you 99.99% of the time. Know what you're up against because knowing is half the battle. You know, knowing, knowing is half the battle, unfortunately. So I hate that I have to make a video like this, but this stuff is going to keep on happening. Um, and, and, you know, Donald Trump is, is running for president again, and he's already said that he wants the police to have immunity. When they shoot people. Well, hell, the police already have immunity. So what is he talking about? He ain't your friend. And you dumbass black people that support him, he, did, he doesn't care anything about you. Have you heard Donald Trump come out and condemn the murder of this black man who was a serviceman? And I thought white people love the U.S. military. Huh? Oh, as long as you don't have any skin color. As long as you got a pale buttermilk complexion like a vampire. But when you're a black man or black woman and you're the victim of their terrorism, they don't have anything to say. All of a sudden, oh, well, he shouldn't have come to the door with a gun. He should have been more careful. Yeah, you can keep loving the devil if you want. But that's you. It'll never be me. So... I, again, if you like my video, you like my content, please subscribe. And uh, until next time.